you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be cleaning out my two-year-old daughter Logan's room that she will soon be sharing with a newborn baby. There's a lot going on in here. It's a hot mess. I clean it nearly every day and it just... I just need to get rid of some stuff. So that's what we're going to do. shared with my two-year-old and our newborn baby girl that is coming this February. I've always been really intentional about the amount of toys that Logan has and quite frankly Angelo and I have not really bought her very much at all. She has literally been blessed with so many of these items. I mean we've bought some of them but a majority of this stuff was given to her for her birthday, Christmas, and what I've actually done is on those holidays, on those special occasions when she gets a lot of gifts, I actually hide some of them away. So she'll open them up and then she'll get to open a few of the packages up and then I'll tuck some of them away in her closet as brand new toys to save for later just because I know like she's not gonna need all of those brand new toys right then and there. You might think that's mean. I think it's smart. Logan is definitely in like the developmental age right now where she needs more exploring toys, creative toys, learning toys. Um, and she has a lot of trash toys. <laughs> Wait. What are you doing? I don't know. Can you see her? squares together and all almost all of the triangles together do you put all of the triangles together yeah. oh thank you yeah. thanks from wrong considering I only had two bins of toys to go through. And I, I do have more upstairs, but we're just gonna pretend like that doesn't exist right now. Okay, my main goal is to get their bedroom ready. You know, so I'm just gonna focus on, on one thing at a time. One of our local thrift stores has these little grab bags at the cash register, and they're 50 cents. It's like a mystery bag of little toys, and we've bought them a couple times. My mother-in-law has bought it a couple times. inside of there and Logan actually really enjoys them and sometimes it's just like Happy Meal toys and little tiny stuffed animals necklaces just random stuff like that so I figured instead of just throwing these away maybe 
maybe they can use them in a grab bag at the thrift store. So all of this stuff in this little box. Okay, now uh, let me show you the garbage that was in there. Here is the garbage. Now this is actually a funny story, but I'm just gonna throw it away today. It's an old hoodie of Angelo's that had like this giant stain on it and I cut up old clothes to use as rags and stuff. So he was cutting it up for me to use as a rag and he decided to cut it to use it as a cape for Logan and she wore it around like a costume and it was so cute, oh my gosh. So that's what that is. And then we have like some tore up books. This isn't really a book, it's just it's like how to draw these figures. And it was in a vlog but she can't do that, but anyways. And some gross toys, garbage, torn up coloring pages, you know. That was all in her toy box, so love that. Okay, first up we have this cute Melissa and Doug tool box. And that's what all those little wooden pieces go to. Great, she loves it. Ow. And something that I've noticed about Logan particularly is she loves little things that she can hold in her hand, play with, look at, keep close. So we have some of these little like Disney stuffies. She loves Toy Story, she loves Mickey. And that goes for little plastic figurines too. So she has this little unicorn. I don't know those. The horse. A Moana that came from a Happy Meal or something. Mickey. And then Mickey. Mickey and Minnie. I got these from Dollar Tree. Then Mickey. And she loves them so much. And so much. So much. Oh, yeah. Cars. Cars are super duper fun. We just got this truck um, last weekend from Salvation Army for a dollar, and it is amazing. It's a dump truck, and it rolls really easy, and it's super bright and fun. And then we have these little wooden cars that she got for her first birthday last year. They're actually Melissa and Doug as well. Those are cute and great. We have a Mater. We got a Buzz and a Barbie. We have lots of keys. My mother-in-law got her these really cool keys at, at like jingle and make noise and stuff. She loves those. And then these are going to be passed down to her baby sister because they're definitely more infant style toys. Her microphone. She has some dress up stuff. These sunglasses are from the dollar Mommy. store. Her little princess wand, her mini ears, her crown, a bracelet. And there was a few more like baby toys that were in there that her little sister will enjoy. So I'm going to set those aside. That is yours, yes, for cleaning. When you clean? In a room. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. She got. We got this from Dollar Tree and she loves it. It's a little dust pan. A little brush and mirror that folds. Highly recommend little trinkets like this. These blocks we registered for her birthday and someone gave them to her as a gift last year. They're great, they click together. They're like a sensory block. She'll play with these for a long, long time. We like those. She'll count them. I'm trying to teach her colors with them. We don't quite understand colors yet. We know our alphabet, we can count to 10. We can count backwards from 10. I'm trying to count to 20 now, and we're trying to get a few colors in there. And also recognizing letters. She recognizes some letters, but not all the letters. As far as small electronic toys, she has these two right now by VTech and LeapFrog. This is like a singing remote control. And then she just got this. It's a little book that teaches you words. My mom got it for her. It's in Spanish right now, but also is English. It's kind of cool. I really like that trend with all the acrylic, you know, shelves on the wall. I think that's really cute. And something we could try to do in here, but man, considering like putting a rocking chair in this room and a bassinet or another crib or something, like this room is going to be packed, you know? So I'm just not even going to worry about it. 
we're moving out of this house next summer fall so I don't know I still want to make it cute in here and I want it to be organized and livable but I'm just not trying to you know go overboard with all the stuff let's just keep it minimal keep getting rid of stuff keep sorting keep organizing and keep living our lives honey these are Logan's stuffed animals that we have downstairs. I think there's a few more in that box up there, but, and probably one or two in my car, honestly. Cute little dinosaur actually goes in this luggage. She is obsessed with this. She got it for her birthday from our friend, um, and it's from Nordstrom. It's a little rolling suitcase backpack, and the dino sits in there like a little baby. It's so cute, and she'll run around with that thing all day. Are you hungry? Okay, we'll eat soon, okay? You want some chicken? All right. Oh, I want chicken and food. She's looking at her snack bowl like, why is it all gone? Why? Say it ain't so. <laughs> as far as her big toys, these have all been thrifted by me, by my mom, by my mother-in-law. Yeah. And um, they're really cool toys. I have this little ride-along car, push cart, walker thing. It makes noise. It's really annoying. She really likes it, and she especially really liked it when she was learning how to walk. This thing we recently got, it is another Melissa and Doug toy. I did not realize I had so much Melissa and Doug and I've never bought it full price. Um, but it's a really cool wooden table with all these little things on it. She'll play with it now, but I think that her little sister will enjoy this more when she starts to stand and stuff. We have this awesome vacuum cleaner. It is wooden, no batteries required, and it actually like picks stuff up. It actually works. And then it, you can open this and all the little gunk will be in there. And it's so cool, like a piece of paper or a chip or something. So that is fun. This is super cool, wooden. I think it's like a German toy. I looked up the brand once and I was appalled at how much money this was full price. But it's a little baby stroller. She loves that. She'll put her stuffed animals in there, run around the house in it. And then we have her pony. We got this in Texas as well at a thrift store. Um, my mom did, and she loves it. She always has. And she will drag this pony out to the living room. She'll drag it down the hall and just ride her pony while we're watching a movie or something. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you come on back, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll be posting a lot of videos this month, especially kind of nesting, getting this room ready, and then also some like fun day in the life, what I eat in a day's mommy and me fashion. I don't know. We have a lot planned. So stay tuned. And until next time, stay awesome, be you, and keep loving Jesus, boo. Bye. Say bye. Bye.